All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Bungo Stray Dogs, Dog, Season 2, Episode 6, War. Gang War. Okay. 3, all FFA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big free for No all. items, you yep. know. Team four deathmatch. Yeah. Team deathmatch. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, 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 because it's three teams. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't play this on old Melee, so you'd have to do this on the newer Smash Bros. Yeah, you know? definitely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but... Um, there, there are plans and stratagems amidst all the craziness and ridiculousness, mm -hmm. but the ADA might be about to get, you know, their legs cut out from under them before they can even start. Possibly. There's, there's a, there's a, there's a unique, uh, situation going on right now where we had a bit of a cliffhanger in the fact that Chuya mm -hmm. and the leader of the Port Mafia have set a trap of sorts where they're tracking the ADA. Exactly. Now, I don't think that it makes sense for them to completely destroy the ADA, but I do like the idea of them targeting specifically the leader yes. so that they won't be a long-term threat, but then they could still be a cushioning blow against the guild and them, you know, the Port Mafia. Potentially, yeah. But I don't think they're going to succeed here, so is there a possibility yeah, that mean, the leader is just not, you know... Not that easy of someone to uh, bait into a trap of some kind. Well, I mean, even if they do go and attack, mm -hmm. right? I don't think we've ever seen the Port Mafia actually succeed against any members of the ADA. Under any circumstances? Yeah, like I'm well, trying... Well, in the very beginning with the Kutagawa, he did force a situation where they were losing until the Zai showed up. That's true. And those were some of their weakest members, though, to be fair. Yeah. But yeah. they used illusions mm -hmm. to great effect in that fight there. So, right. so it, it, yeah, Port Mafia even needs, a grapple gun can Port beat Mafia Kutagawa, kind of so. needs the guild to exist so they can have some W's, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but the guild so far has, has got the biggest W in that they mm -hmm. thrashed everyone Off when screen. just when just uh, John Steinbeck and H.P. Uh, <laughs> Lovecraft showed up. Indeed. Which. I love so much. Mm -hmm. I love so much. Now, yep. to be fair, I think there was a bunch of them that came from above. Yes. So, as that, well. so by the end of it, there were six of them. That's true. And That's true. So they did have the numbers advantage. They had the element of surprise, surprise. and a bunch of uh, you know. Well, I mean, a bunch they of also it, had was, the it was high ground technically. Well, as yes, well. they had the high ground, but it was just basically Atsushi and Kyoka, and was anyone else there? Uh, Dopo. Dopo. Uh, oh, that's right. Yes, yeah, Dopo yeah. was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but they still got punked mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. so y'all without further ado let's get into this all right everyone now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below then come back here for the discussion all right so okay. the guild the port mafia and the ada are actually coming to blows fully now but it's the port mafia that's setting the initiative here right they know the most, I would say, information-wise about all three, about, about, about all their enemies here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they're manipulating the info that they do have about the ADA to their advantage so they can send the guild to do most of their dirty work for right. them. And and I, I do like that since the, uh, since the Port Mafia is the one instigating a lot of this stuff, it's a way to kind of build up the leader of the Port Mafia, the Ogai. Yeah. Um, because he was introduced at the very end of season one. Yep. And while we did get some of him with the first arc of season two, yep. it wasn't about him, right? It wasn't so, about him. So this is kind of his first moment to shine. And especially given the fact that he's not on the front lines anymore. He's not like mm -hmm. doing most of the fighting, which again, right. I appreciate because that's a, that's a, um, it's a, it's a stylistic choice, right? I'm yep. sure he is incredibly impossibly strong and whatnot, but he can do more. But his when strength he's, is best used out here. Yeah, writing yeah. writing letters and things like that. Yeah, and I loved the I loved the setup for what ended up happening mm -hmm. um, at the at the boat. Basically, the idea of oh, we get a character that we'd kind of almost like just written off. Lemon exploding guy. Yep. Could not care at all about him. Nope. But the twist of oh, that's right. This is what he does. But also. Yeah, you, you looked down on him, as right. is your style. This is, I would say, the fatal flaw of the guild as of right now, is that they are so strong. What, the Americans are too proud? What? Right, right, exactly. What? So that they look down on their opponents, basically. Mm -hmm. Yep. And just the scene of him just laughing and cackling maniacally as the bombs fall all around him. Oh, yeah. That's, that was great. That is just so funny. I, that, that was something where, like, it's... Because 
this this show has a very particular vibe, right? Where it has the zany, crazy wackiness, and then it has the serious and the action and mm -hmm. all of that. And and sometimes I can I can find it hard to like get the, the reconcile the two. Yeah, reconcile the two, right? Yep. And and Lemon Bomber is is like he 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 tread he what is he he jumped he's that line yeah like he a used jump that rope. line like a jump rope yeah, in, yeah. in the best way and the thing is is that when he showed up I was kind of just like oh, oh, you? oh okay the, you all yeah, right sure you know like please okay yeah kill him use him to build up these other two right right but actually it's like no 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 it's I he's he's around to stay we you know. had prep time yeah and also this is not the show that kills people I just want right. to I just want to bring this up. The arc that came before this does not fit tonally within the rest of the show. Yep. yep this yep. arc is a return to form of what happened in the first season. Exactly. Which I would say is something that holds it back. I because, would as well. But because... You know, it's, a, it's a choice, yeah. Yeah, it's a choice. But because we had all these fights where there were so many blows traded, mm -hmm. so much blood spilled, yep. all kinds of great violent action, and no one's hurt... Right. Like, Akutagawa now, got, like, speared, like, eight times or something, and while he ended up having blood on his clothes, like, we didn't see any, like, blood, like, actually, like, piling up on the ground or anything like that. It's just like, oh, that happened, it's dramatic effect, and then yeah. it's, you know... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a... It's a thing that kills tension, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but it is primarily, I'd say, for showing how the actual threat of these attacks is there... It's just that it's not for the purpose of having the fight be ended in one of these hits, but yeah, that over the course of time, one of these people is going to win out. Right, or or just showing the... It's it's another way to show the sort of cool factor of these attacks because it would be kind of weird if they had all these crazy destructive abilities and nothing happened and as nothing a result worked, of them, right? Basically. Yeah, and while but, still it, it's but another it kind of... it the same problem, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's another kind of nothing working, but they at least we at least get to see the impact of them landing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, um, which is fun. Yeah. So and, rule of cool. And I also got to say, the fact that they're taking this... New new spin direction, etc. For Akutagawa, I really like. It feels it. It very much reminds me of like like end of season one of Zuko, where it's the I have been beaten and and like so many mm -hmm. times I have been humiliated. Like I yeah. have basically nothing. So now I am you know like you were saying the hungry dog, the mad and, dog, or yeah the mad dog. And yeah, as a result yeah. of that, he's I'm dangerous. He, he's dangerous, and he's going to be having a big effect on the. Plot, plot, which yeah. I'm excited for because the I, I find the character of Akutagawa much more interesting than the power of Akutagawa. Right, right. It's it's the connection to Dazai. Yeah. Yep, yep. And Dazai is the most interesting character that's still alive right now. Right, and that sort of dark nega parallel of Atsushi. Yeah. yeah. Now, we then get to the complicated situation with Chuya being a messenger mm -hmm. who didn't use the info to assault their base. Right. And I'm really, really glad that they chose this decision here mm -hmm. because rather than having it be a thing where the president saw through the trap entirely yep. and, you know, planned around their plan without having it be shown and it was off screen, they went for the even better choice, which is, no, we're going to have to react to this, send someone to deal with Chuya. Yep. Chuya goes, no, we don't need to fight necessarily. Right. I'm going to manipulate you and tell you that I'm manipulating you. But you it's too can good to pass up. you can go stop the people that are you know kind of remotely connected to you by being office employees basically uh -huh. from getting killed brutally, yep. and thus they know that you're going to be coming and you know that they're going to be going. So you guys can all fight and it'll be wonderful. And everybody Twitter wins in yeah, different everybody ways. wins in different ways. I love this kind of manipulation because mm -hmm. it really comes down to. How confident are the ADA and the people that they send? Yep. And then how confident are the guild in that their strength is going to, you know, win themselves out here? Right. And because we don't know anything about their abilities other than that they're called the Grapes of Wrath and the Great Old Ones, which is very intimidating. Uh-huh. Um, we, we, we don't know how this is going to go. But no. I, I could see this actually being the first element of a casualty is that, mm. well... Hmm. Hmm. Could 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 there be a serious problem here? I, I would love to see something where they finagle their way out of this. Mm -hmm. Maybe due to some character kind of choices and things like that. But um, 
this is getting us straight into the conflict. Yep. And we're and, not beating around the bush here. And as far as the conflict goes, it's something where then we can have additional uh, character motivations for the conflict because it's not just that they're staff, but you have the whole brother-sister dynamic. Mm -hmm. And two, I gotta say, comparing this to the end of season one of the, um, the sort of the... Uh, Wait, say reason, Kyoka. well, right, but but having mm -hmm. the reason for um, the the characters on both sides of the conflict to be evenly matched in number, I like this one a lot more than Dopo, you know, taking the boat but then not being able to leave the boat. Like, right, right. like the the idea that oh, it's just whoever's closest because they're already there. At, like they're they're basically already there. Yeah. So we just need whoever can respond the fastest and hope you can do well. I yeah. love it because it's it's something that makes sense given that the fact that they had the offensive teams that were out and moving about. Mm -hmm. And two, it makes sense that the, 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 the Port Mafia would want to set things up like this so that that way they might have to send the people that aren't as qualified to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Not be able to defend with full force. So... Yeah. yeah, and then you have still the awkward instance where it's still Chuya with gravity manipulation mm -hmm. going up against potentially, well, the people that might be able to protect the president. But does Chuya now go, okay, let's resume our fight now. I have a pres I have your president to kill. Right. Because he could he could he still. Could. There's, there's nothing that says. Yeah, you can't double dip. You yeah. can't double dip. But it's basically just him saying, eh, da, 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 da. We can have an alliance that's not an alliance mm -hmm. if you want to yep. use the info that I give you because I'm clearly manipulating you, but I don't care if you know. Well, and and the other element of it, now, they, they might not go for this angle because, you know, the um, if if the Port Mafia knows the location of their base, then they might be interested in letting Chuya go so that, that way the Port Mafia doesn't send more people. But mm -hmm. as of right sure. now, Chuya is by himself in the heart of the enemy base. While there might only be two people that have tried to fight with him thus far, the president is also there. Well, yeah, but the president is not wanting to get killed, so that's why he sent the two of them out. I thought it was the... Th this is something that I was kind of confused by. Isn't it the healer that they were wanting to protect the most? I yes. But he doesn't want to kill the healer. They, they they might not even know what her ability is. Okay. Like, that's the thing. We, hmm. we, we need to stop assuming, I think, that people know what each other's abilities are. Uh, that is fair, because because Chuya did, like, have that little bit of, like, uh, Desai, why'd you have to blab, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was, like, a thing of, well, of course, of course Desai right. would have said something. Yep, they would probably oh, keep their her, abilities you know? <laughs> very close to the chest as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and given that they're spiritual abilities and stuff... There's a lot of ways you could get an ability confused by... Sure. Yep. You know, without, if you don't have someone actually... Without looking at it very closely or have someone that literally knows what it Tells you what it... Yeah, what it exactly. does. Exactly. Yep, yep. And, and you see a girl walking with the blade, you don't immediately go, well, she's a priority target. Yeah, no. If right. anything, you target anything, the farm boy that ripped off a train uh, steel... You know, I-beam, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't know why he's strong. You just know that he's strong. Right. If anything, I, because they said that we have to protect the healer, that made me think that there was like some potential like information that was out because of the Port Mafia's like information networks or something that she was the healer of the group. But th I suppose that doesn't have to be the case. Yeah, I think I think the only thing with that is that it's like no, if, if yeah, it's just a simple thing of if she goes down, then that's we, a problem. We, yeah. then we can't do fights no one else can in cast healing word term. and whatnot. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, we mm -hmm. we go unconscious. Right. We're, yep. we're stuck. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, but. If Chuya decides to not, you know, press at the attack here, this could be the beginning of a tenuous ceasefire between the Port Mafia and the ADA as they deal with the Guild sure. in their own individual ways. And yep. it's the thing of like, hey, 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 we're going to be dealing with the Guild, mm -hmm. but we're going to have to ask you to pull your weight. And if you don't pull your weight, we will... Then we go back to Mexican standoff, you know, or... Oh, right, 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 but we can, we can also use the info... That we found this base. You don't know how we found this base. Oh, but we sure. can tell the guild that you're here. Yep, yep. So absolutely. you better you better, you know. Well, and I wouldn't be surprised know. if they specifically did that. Like like when um when mm -hmm. Edogawa Rampo was like, I think we should recall the offensive teams, right? Mm -hmm. That's that totally makes sense, right? Because yep. you want to be able to defend you know defend the, home the turf. Base, yep. Right, yeah. They just sent one of their offensive teams on a mission as a result of what the Port Mafia did here. There's the other I would one, not though. Be There's the other one, which is arguably much, much better than Grapple Gun and Illusions. Um, you know, nullification of abilities and super regenerative, you know, Strength strunk boy. Yeah. yeah, right. 
But there is definitely the possibility that the Port Mafia is like, cool, once they send an offensive team, then we leak information to the guild. The guild sends the rest of their people here, Mm -hmm. and they have even less people to defend. And we just win. But... You know, there's, there's. Yeah, but the guild could win then, and then the guild comes for the Port Mafia, and the Port Mafia might not be strong enough at that point. Yeah, but you know, if if the ADA manages to weaken them a bit, or or the sure. or then the Port Mafia comes in and helps defend the ADA, you know, and they and they work together in some sort of reverse pincer to take out the guild. I don't know. Yeah, plenty think, of possibilities for how this. Yeah, can go. I, I think that this is basically just the beginning of the arc, though, and these are the first types of overall strategy mm-hmm. that both sides are employing, but. The Port Mafia took the initiative, and yes. thus they are setting the terms of a lot of the engagements. And I, and which I, which is do... a very good choice for them, since I thought they were the weakest. So yes. they needed to kind of catch everyone off balance a little uh-huh. bit. And and I gotta say, um, while uh, while there are elements of the things that the Port Mafia does that working makes makes it feel like it it kind of detracts a little bit in my mind from the competency of the ADA. It is something that, given the fact that this arc is moving so quickly yeah. having everything be like a yes and where it's everything that a side tries ends up working and that's why they try it kind of right. a thing you know and then it's just how does everyone roll with the punches yeah. that that does that does keep things moving very quickly that which did feel works well for an action yeah arc. that did feel like the reason why that they had the akutagawa and uh the reverend uh, mm-hmm. what, what was his name uh the, the freaking scarlet, yeah, letter. scarlet letter guy yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. They both ended up hitting each other multiple times, Mm -hmm. and Akutagawa's strength is in some ways better than this guy's. The difference is that Akutagawa's ability has to come from within him, whereas this guy's is just, I manipulate all blood. Right, it felt very much like a, I'm I'm better than you, but you have a drive that I don't. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. That that kind of self-destructive impulse that Akutagawa has that we've seen previously. Yeah, but okay, all right. That's a little chapter in this war. Mm-hmm. Um, doesn't look like any side is particularly winning, although now I put the Port Mafia's odds of surviving this whole thing much higher. higher than I put them probably before the fight, yeah. before the war began. <laughs> when when the idea of this war was brought up, I very much was like, oh, I'm sorry, Port Mafia. Yeah, you guys you are have, getting You axed. have like they three people still get that axed. might be you know, semi-competent. They totally right. could. In fact, they also could be putting out the mass recruiting thing where they're like, hey, everybody that's on turf duty, everyone that's on like that basic stuff, mm-hmm. you guys all need to come in. And yet that probably won't do much. You no, know? it probably won't do much because as we know, Otisaku was probably their best tool, their best ability user they had by far. Yeah. And he's gone. Right. And Desai's gone. And, and Desai is and, gone as and well. And unless the leader starts, you know, going and doing stuff himself, they basically just have Akutagawa as a card to play. No, no, Chuya is oh, oh, okay. no, revealed no, no, to be... No, 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 that's right. Akutagawa Chuya and Chuya. is probably yes. way better than Akutagawa. Yes, but like, like... Akutagawa seems kind of basic now compared to Chuya. Uh, uh, definitely, definitely. But even the, the, the other card that they got of the, the other lady that was introduced in the previous episode, right. she was then captured, you know? So, so yeah. like... Port Mafia is 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 making a lot of good. They're hits. maybe a bit desperate here. Too. But yeah, I don't see them as having very much staying power. Yeah, so maybe that's why he's staying in the shadows. Is sure. this is going to come down to whose snake's head gets stepped on first? Right. Keep the king protected. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.